What is going on guys and welcome back to the Drifting Outdoors channel. My name is Ty as always and today we're going to be doing a turning around Summit Viper SD Ultra um, showcase. So I got this is my climber. I got I got this uh, in December and so we're going to be testing it. Well, I've already tested it out. It works perfectly. But and here's the harness and all the stuff good stuff for it. But we are going to be, I'm going to show you guys it today, show you how it works, and do a little review of it. Just, just do, I, I, this is, I'm very inexperienced with the climber, but I can, like, show you all the features and stuff, and just show you how it works. So, yes, that is what we're going to do today. This, this video is meant for, like, anybody who's just looking at one, wants entertainment, or, or is, um, just wants to know about climbers in general. So, anyway, so I haven't put the footrest on yet. I have to get to that. I haven't put the footrest on. Footrest is right there. But anyway, yeah, let's get to it. I'm going to go walk out there. It's raining a little bit, but it sounds loud because it's just off that tin shed roof over, oh crap, over there. It's just off the tin shed roof over there. But we can go out there, find a tree, and climb. All right, so let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on. We have to lift it up like this. And see, we got this backpack straps right here. And you just do a little whoop right here. And get your other arm in the strap. Pick it up. And I'm going to put this harness and stuff on out there. And okay, let's pick this up. We are going to go out here in the Drizzle. This Florida, General Florida slog. In general. Yeah, it's not raining bad. You might, we might actually just do it in here. I mean, I think I see a tree I want to do it on too. It's, it's a littler tree, so that might actually be better. For this. Because we have these bigger trees. I'm looking at this one right here. I don't know if it's going to work or not. It's a pretty dang little tree. I think it'll work fine. It's very small, but I, this climber can go small, so it's not as big as any of these pine trees. I think we're going to go with this tree right here. This tree is probably going to go up to about there. It's not going to go up very high. So anyway, oh crap. No, we're not going to do that because that, this pine, that tree shakes too easily. And there's water, but I forgot my tripod. So that sucks. But... So yeah, I'm going to um, have to run back and get that, so I'm going to put my stuff down under this table so it doesn't get wet. Now I'll just put it on this table. That'll be fine. And I'm going to put my climber. So we're going to climb on which is the tree we use. We use this tree right here. This is the tree we're going to use. Right here, this is the one I practiced on, I believe. So yeah, I'm going to put my climber down. Right there. Against the tree, I'm gonna run back and get my tripod so you can see what I'm doing. Right. All right, guys, as you see, because my camera's popped up, we have the tripod. I'm gonna be running a GoPro camera too, so you'll see both angles. Starting now. All right. <coughs> All right. So the first thing you're gonna do, angle my GoPro down, is we're gonna take this. Oh, first thing is get my harness on. I'm gonna leave the camera running. And get my tether. We're not going, I don't know why I brought the line and felt this trip we're going up about like five feet. We don't need it. All right, so I'm going to get this harness on. I have a muddy harness, as you can see right here. I'll show this angle. Muddy. Smaller than not. Okay, so I'm going to just put this, throw this harness on. Really quick. I am trying to do this. You know, I'm going to go. 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 There we go. There's that. Alrighty. So, GoPro view is on. Get our tether over here. Get our tether. Alright, so first thing you need to do. Get all the way so you can see it. Is I will you have to undo this 
little clamp. So you got a clamp right here. Got to undo that. You can throw that to the side for now. Now, got to come over here and undo this. This well, that one's already undone. Then you release. That will release all of this goodness. So now you got this. Take this off. Now you have your two pieces. So first, you got to set up the big one. So as you can see, so now you come around here, and you're going to, this is how you're going to fit. No, nope, it goes I had the whole thing upside down was the problem. All right, so now I was just holding it wrong like a dummy. Anyway, so we're gonna just gonna come and we're going to come right around and we're gonna put that in there. So you can see what I'm doing over on the phone cam. And then you're going to come. Oh wait, now you want to wrap it around. Yeah, wrap it around one time. Then you want to come right. There, with that, wrap that one around like so. I don't know how good the view on the GoPro is going to be. All right, there you go. So now what you got to do, you just bring that up like this. Then you just got to undo. These are what hold it to the tree. So you got to just simply undo that. And you want to give yourself as much room as possible here. Oh, that came undone, which isn't bad. And then you just want to give yourself, give ourselves an extra little long right there. All right, so now you have to put this top one on first. So what you want to do, sort of swing that around. And it's going to go like this on the tree. Sorry, the, now you're going to want to look at the phone camera. Because the GoPro is like in the face of that. So you're going to prop this up, bring this all the way up the tree, grab this. Hold on a second. There you go, swing that around. Oh crap. Another thing you can do is you can hold it up like that. Do the reach around maneuver. And then just slide that right in there. Alright, then you're just going to push it down. Continue. There. Now you're up on the tree. So that is about the height you want it. As you see, it's angled up a little bit. You don't want it angled up too much. See, this is a better angle. So you don't want it angled up too much to where you can't, to where you can't do anything. This is going to be sitting like this. And as you go up the tree, you want it to be a little further. You can actually probably even move this down another rung if we wanted to, which I'm going to do because I want this to be an accurate video. Alright, so if I can just get this up there we go. There. Let's lock that in there. That's about the height you wanted at. There we go. So now what we're going to do is going to move this up out of the way over here. So that's what you really want right to see right there. And now you got this. So you're just going to do the same thing here. They have to be equal. So as you can see, you got three showing on this side, and you got one showing on this side. So that's what you want to do. So you got three showing on this side, so we'll leave that as our control, because you already got three over there. That's going to, here you can see I'm better on the GoPro now. Swing, okay, so now you got that. Alright, you're gonna swing that around the tree. 
grab that. Now you got that three. Now you got to bring that over and sh do the one. And so you're just going to grab. There it is, right there. All right, so now. Oh, uh, now you got this going on right here. So now what you want is you want to come down here where this little cord is hanging. You got this umbilical cord. You are going to simply come around here like this on the GoPro. You can only see on this on the GoPro. Sorry about that, but oh well. It's just the way it's going to be. Right here and bam. Clip that in. So now you got this. So I'm actually going to move this out of the way even more. Nope. You want to come like this. Pull down to set it. There you go. So now that is your Summit Viper Ultra SD stand, ladies and gentlemen. You can see that right there. Now it's climb up time. So what you're going to do, you got your tether right here. You're going to just simply put this in the seat of your climber. Now you got to get up on here. So I, like so, I'm wearing Crocs, but usually you're wearing boots. I'm right outside my door as you've already seen. You're going to step, place, oh crap. You're going to place, simply place, get up, and by any means necessary. So you're going to, in our case, and put here, and usually you have a rope called a lineman's belt, but we're only going up to about here on the tree. So I don't really need one, because if I fall, I will, def I will not be injured. All right, so now you're going to get your foot, and see this, this is a heel, it goes on your heel, I don't know what it's really called. So that's going to go there, and then you're going to put your other foot right here. Now you're good to go on the foot side. So now you're going to simply put this over top of you, and make your way, maneuver yourself right here. So now you're set up and ready to climb as you can see by this. Oh crap. So we're gonna have to get down for a second. I might be able to just reach down. Nope, we have to get down. I dropped the head up. All right, so you're gonna just gonna take this and you're gonna redo this and all this good jazz. Kinda get yourself back up on here. Do a little, do a little gymnastics to get up there. If you need to, there it is. All right, so now you're up in the climb position. I can, now you're up in the climb position. You're probably not gonna only be able to hear me on the GoPro. Sorry about that. I'm talking away. So what you're gonna do is, oh, first I have to get my feet in the in the correct positioning here. Feet are in the correct position. So you wanna get this up. Here, so see the umbilical cord here is stopping me from going any higher than that. So now, you're gonna lean back on this to set it, and then you're gonna completely come and lift your feet up like that. See, now you are free to go up like this. And we're gonna do this a couple more times until we get to about this knot right here. So now, simply lift up. And there you go. And we'll do this one more time. Bam. Set that. Then we'll do it once more. Bam. There you go. So as you can see, we are now up in the tree. Now, you get your tether. Now, once your tether has been acquired, you will, you will take this tether and point around the tree. Oh crap. You will have to grab the tether. There it is. We don't want it way up here. And about where your head's gonna be. And now that you have grabbed this, you are going to simply thread this through. And now you pull to the right and then down to set it. Sometimes, this, I don't think this is a very good tether because it doesn't like to set very easily. But see, look at that. There we 
go. But see, he sort of doesn't want to that by but So there we go, there it goes. So now on your back of your harness, you will have a little loop here. See this loop? Simply feed your your thing through the loop and then spin this tight, your lock tight. Congratulations! Now you have climbed the tree. So now what you want to do is all you want need to do is take your feet out and take your feet out and pop a squat and throw this behind you. Congratulations! You have climbed the tree. Now I'm going to talk about the features of this climber. See over here you got these nice, all these, this metal. See here it doesn't ding. And it's because it has soundproofing material on the inside. What it allows you to do is not bang the crap out of st stuff. And I mean bang the crap out of metal and make a sound that scares off the whole, um, say you're hunting on public land, you're not scaring off the whole wildlife management area. Alright, so now it's also, what's also beautiful is you can bow hunt out of this. It's got a nice big platform, you can stand and shoot, which is very nice. And that's really, all, and it's got the nice hanging seat, it's got that hanging seat action, and so it's, it's very, actually very comfy. The foam is very nice. And yes, so that is how the climber works, and so now I'll show you once you get down, and I'm not, I'm going to cut to actually when I get, I'm going to do, no, what I'll do is I'll do a time lapse of me getting down, so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Alright, bye. Ladies and gentlemen, as you see, I just picked up my tripod, and as you see, I still, I'm still working on getting rid of that um bound thing. I think it's actually all the straps need to be tightened on my backpack. But I think it's because it's sort of just rocking back and forth. But anyway. Oh, hold on. So, oh, that's what it is. Okay. So, anyway, I'd like to thank you guys uh, so much for watching this video. That's going to be a bit of an interesting outro, being that I am currently walking in an outro on a GoPro. But I'd like to thank you guys so, so much. Blech. So, 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 so very much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next video of Griffin Outdoors on YouTube. See ya!